Hi friends, happy Saturday. It is about 6.45 a.m. and I just pulled in to the grocery store to do my weekly grocery haul. So I have quite a few things to get. I have so many amazing recipes on my meal plan for this upcoming week. I am super, super excited. We are actually going camping, well, camping next weekend. We're actually leaving Thursday and we're going to spend Thursday night and Friday night in Priest Lake, Idaho. And we actually rented a cabin right on the lake. So we are so excited. So I actually only work three days this next week, but I'm probably going to meal prep some extras so that I can stay on track on Thursday before we head up to the lake. Friday, I will use my weeklies and then my fifth meal prep will be ready for Saturday when we come home. And that way I can stay on track Thursday and Saturday. So I'm gonna be going to the grocery store again next Thursday morning, but it won't be uploaded until Saturday. I'll just pre-edit pre, pre -edit and pre-upload. So you'll get a grocery haul next Saturday, even though we are gonna be camping. So that is pretty awesome. So this week I have so many fun things on my menu. So I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna get my groceries. I'll go home, I'll show you what I have for groceries for the week, and then I'm gonna show you my meal plan as well. So if you wanna see what's on the plan, all you have to do is stay tuned. first part of my grocery haul came from Walmart. I did Walmart pickup. As you know, there are a few items that Fred Meyer doesn't carry that I pick up at Walmart. So this, I want to say, was about $65. So let me show you my Walmart grocery pickup first, and then I'll show you the rest of this week's grocery haul. So first, I went ahead and grabbed my very favorite water enhancers. This is the Energy Variety Pack from Walmart. Great peach mango, pomegranate lemonade, and wild strawberry. I really, really like these. I want to say they have 10 calories. Yes, 10 calories a packet. I do only drink one packet per day. I usually do half in one water bottle and half in another. I also saw this flavor, so I grabbed it. Strawberry watermelon. This one's only 5 calories, so I thought that this would be kind of a fun change of pace. A little bit of some summery flavor. So a couple of water enhancers. Also my sugar-free frosting. I cannot find this at Fred Meyer. So I grabbed the vanilla sugar-free frosting and also the chocolate fudge frosting. I really like to have these on hand for my sweet treats. Also I grabbed the salsa con queso from Tostitos. I love me some queso. So I grabbed a jar of that. Also, Fa A, since I did a Walmart pickup, I went ahead and added the Fa A Total Zero to my order. Love this Greek yogurt. It's thick, it's not watery. It's actually my very, very favorite. Olay wraps because they are cheaper at Walmart than at Fred Meyer. So I picked a package up of my favorite Olay Extreme Wellness wraps. Another thing I can't find at Fred Meyer is sugar free pie filling. So this is the Great Value Cherry. I really like this just to have on hand for dessert. Low points, a third cup, I believe is one smart point. So really easy peasy dessert, easy to have on hand. As you can see, I grabbed four bags of the Great Value Fat-Free Shredded Cheese. Zero fat-free cheese at Fred Meyer. So I always stock up when I go to Walmart. You can just throw these into the freezer so it makes it really easy if you do want to stock up on your fat-free shredded cheese. Also, I love the Hershey's whipped topping. This is zero smart points when until you go crazy with it, but the serving size is zero points. And I also picked up the Reese's. I like this one a lot as well. And neither of these I can find at Fred Meyer. Also, I've been seeing the sugar-free Jello pudding all over the internet. I have not ever purchased this. I ordered the chocolate and vanilla, but they were out. So they went ahead and substituted the chocolate. So I thought that this would be a nice, easy, sweet dessert. Two smart points, and then I can top it with a little bit of my zero-point Reese's or my zero-point Hershey's. So I thought that was a great idea for a sweet, easy treat. I also picked up two packs of my 99% fat-free ground turkey, best price at Walmart. I want to say about 
a little under five dollars per package so two packages of that picked up some cool whip light because i'm going to be making a mock wendy's frosty i saw this on joint jones pointed plate on youtube so i'm excited to try that that is also why i picked up the sugar-free jello chocolate pudding i ordered the small box they were out so they substituted the large box i'll take it so these two items are for that mock frosty so you will see this in an upcoming video and lastly i grabbed my very favorite chicken apple sausage love this two smart points per link you guys and this sausage is delicious so i grabbed two packages i can just throw it into the freezer so that is my walmart pickup portion of my groceries and let's move in to my fred meyer or kroger grocery haul so here's my grocery haul for the week i'm going to show you everything that i purchased kind of let you know what it's for and then we're going to go over the meal plan for the week so let's get started on this week's grocery haul I picked up a box of Kellogg's Corn Flakes. This is for a recipe for an upcoming smoothie collab. So I'm gonna be making a smoothie bowl and it called for Corn Flakes. So I grabbed a big box. I thought that we could eat this as cereal as well. And this is what is on the Felicia Fitness Health chicken and broccoli casserole. It's the topping. So I will definitely be using my Corn Flakes. So I grabbed a box of that. I wanted to try a different kind of almond milk. You know I love the extra creamy, but I decided to give this almond coconut silk a try, unsweetened. So I wanted just a different, different milk, just a different milk to try for the week. So I had a coupon, and this one is only 35 calories, so I'm going to give that a shot. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this and if you like it. Also, I grabbed another container of whipped topping light i'm going to be showing you guys a fantastic dessert recipe using whipped topping so i picked that up jimmy dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles this is for my breakfast wait until you guys see my breakfast i cannot wait so i needed some turkey sausage crumbles for that I needed rice, so I grabbed jasmine rice. I really like jasmine rice, and I thought that it was more points than white rice, but it's not. So I'm gonna start using jasmine instead of just your regular white rice. I grabbed raisins for my husband. He likes having these little packs in his lunch, but I thought that I would show these to you because they are a good snack, and they're not too bad in Smart Points, so sun-made raisins. Happy eggs, my very, very favorite eggs ever. And I'm gonna need these for breakfast and just snacking and things throughout the week. Fred Meyer bacon was on sale, so I grabbed this thick cut bacon. I'll be using this for camping next weekend, but I wanna say it was about $3, so that's not bad for bacon. So I went ahead and just picked it up while I was at Fred Meyer. Rum extract, this is for an upcoming recipe. I wanted real rum extract, but they didn't have any. So imitation rum is going to have to do. A small can of tomato sauce, just an eight ounce can for a dinner recipe. The Norm green beans for my dogs. If you have pets, this is a great alternative to table scraps. So I'll just give my dog a green bean, or my dogs, a green bean at dinner instead of table scraps. Tuna fish, my husband wanted tuna fish sandwiches. These were on sale for $3.79 each for the big can. I don't like the weird pink tuna with the black things in it. So I will always get solid white albacore. So I grabbed two cans of that. Two more containers of my favorite Too Good yogurt. I really like this yogurt. It is thick. It's just sweet enough. Only two grams of natural sugar, nothing added, which is awesome. And only three grams of carbs. So if you're looking for a really good low carb yogurt, this is excellent. And I got a can of pineapple tidbits. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Beef broth, again, for a dinner recipe, I usually will get the reduced sodium just to save on the salt because broth is extremely salt heavy. So I will always just get the reduced sodium. This is a new find for me. I've been seeing these all over Facebook and Instagram. These are the new Fiber 170 calorie bars. This one is in lemon. They also had a double chocolate brownie, but I don't know, in the summer, lemon just sounded really good. And if you didn't know, the normal Fiber 1 brownies are four small smart points and I believe these are two but of course it will be here on the screen so I thought what a great thing to just throw in the car if you need a snack or in your purse and again I think I'll take these for camping because it's a great little sweet treat that will help you stay on track so if you haven't picked these up these I hear are excellent so again I grabbed the lemon 
Seltzer water, this is just for my breakfast recipe and I just drink whatever is left with a little bit of fresh lime. I actually really enjoy just plain seltzer water, as weird as that is. And Cheez-It Snapped, I love these. This is the cheddar sour cream and onion. These are for camping next weekend. I just wanted to have them as part of our camping trip lunches and I had a coupon for these that expired. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I believe five smart points is serving, but they are really, really good. So again, Cheez-It Snapped. I grabbed a little bag of petite medley potatoes. This is for my upcoming lunch recipe. I actually needed two bags and I have one on hand, so I grabbed another one. I really like these small potatoes. They cook up really fast and I think they actually have really good flavor. So that's for a lunch recipe. Some frozen veggies just for sides throughout the week. So some sweet peas. This one sounded really good, this Pacific blend. Sugar snap peas, yellow carrots, carrots, and broccoli. So I thought that sounded really good. I really like this Bram, this flavor pack, and these Grande Classics. The veggies are really fresh and really delicious, and they have a nice, strong, natural color. So I really like this particular brand. So wanted to try the Pacific blend, and this is actually my favorite blend. This is the Riviera. So there's green beans, wax beans, and baby carrots. This is my very favorite blend. This one is excellent on the barbecue in a foil pack. So if you're looking for a good cookout or barbecue veggie, this one is excellent. So that'll get me through the week of my frozen veggies. Another box of my all-time favorite chicken breasts. These are the Simple Truth Organic, no rib meat. So if you are concerned about counting zero points for chicken breasts that have rib meat, this is a really good way to go. Typically, if you buy an organic boneless chicken breast, they will not have rib meat. So I've been buying these. I actually really, really like them. I think that the quality and the flavor is on point. So I love the organic chicken breasts. Really excited about this. I grabbed some raw shrimp tail off. Look at how huge these are. I'm going to be doing a shrimp recipe in my upcoming barbecue. So you guys are going to see a new video for my barbecue series using shrimp. This organic shrimp was a pretty good deal. I want to say $14 for this bag and it's one point. So, or one pound, I'm sorry. So not bad, zero points. So stay tuned for my upcoming barbecue series for that. The rest is produce. So I have a lime here for a dessert recipe. Wait until you guys see the summer dessert recipe I have coming your way in meal prep. So I needed a lime for that. Some shredded or julienned carrots for a recipe. Zucchini, this is going to be part of my barbecue series. You're actually gonna get three recipes in that one video. A protein, a starch, and a veggie on the barbecue. So I needed the zucchini for that. Quite a bit of fresh herbs, so chives, which I believe is for my upcoming lunch recipe, dill, which I think is for that same recipe, and then basil, can't remember what that's for, but I really like these little packs. They last a long time in your refrigerator. They're organic, and I wanna say they are two bucks a pack, so not bad. A big bag of yellow onions, just because I have a few recipes this week that call for onions. Blueberries and strawberries for my smoothie bowl recipe, but also just to have on hand whatever's left over for snacking. These were expensive, like $6, which is insane for blueberries in the summer, but whatever. I bought them for the smoothie bowl and the strawberries. And last for produce, I bought a big bag of russet potatoes. I need those for that barbecue series. So this is everything that I picked up for food. Let me show you the drinks that I bought and then we'll get into the meal plan. So for drinks, I grabbed vanilla Coke Zero, orange vanilla Coke Zero, of course Diet Coke for my husband. I grabbed a big 20 pack and a 12 pack and some bottled water. So now let's move into meal plan. So let's get into this week's meal plan. Of course, I am using my Carrie L meal planner. I absolutely love this meal planner so much. It is so comprehensive. It's gorgeous. It has several tabs for you to use to plan your life. So you have your resources tab, which is where you can list your favorite recipes, blogs, and recipe sites. There's an inventory tab for both your freezer and your pantry. And then of course the meal plans tab will move right into that. The gatherings tab, which is if you're planning a little get together at your house, you can not only plan your grocery list, but also plan your menu. So that tab is super awesome. And then the notes tab, 
tab, which is what you can use, of course, to take any types of notes on recipes or things that you need to add to your list. And then in the back, they have this cute little pocket, which is generally where I will put my filming ca calendar for YouTube. So love it. Let's go right into the meal plans tab. Now, if you're interested in the Carriel meal planner, I do have a 10% discount code that will get you 10% off of your meal planner. So click the link down in the description box, enter the code here on the screen, and you will save 10%. So in your meal planning tab, I really like, and I use mine a lot. I know a lot of people, or so I've heard, don't use the monthly calendar. I really like it. It gives me a chance to list out kind of what's on my meal plan for the month. Also, any special videos that I need to film. So I use the meal monthly meal planner a lot only because I can pull out frozen meat or whatever I need to pull out for the next night's dinner at a glance on the monthly calendar. So love it. And then there is a weekly menu as well where you list the dates and what's on your menu for the week. And then there's also a detachable grocery list. I do use the grocery list every single week to plan my groceries. So you can see here that this is this week's meal plan. The grocery list of course is missing because I used it this morning at the grocery store. So this week's meal plan is for Saturday through Friday. So today through next Friday. Saturday is the day that I use my weeklies. So I will be going out to dinner or lunch or something this week so I don't have anything planned to make. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to be making Aloha Chicken, which this recipe came from Joan's Pointed Plate. She does have a YouTube channel. Make sure you check her out with some rice and some vegetables. Monday, we are going to be barbecuing some shrimp and some veggies and potatoes. That will be in my barbecue video that you'll be seeing anytime now. Also on Tuesday, I'm going to be making ground beef risotto. This sounds so good. And we'll pair that with some veggies. Wednesday, of course, is leftovers. And as I mentioned, we are heading camping on Thursday. So I'll be doing hot dogs, chips, those probably those Cheez-It snaps and the fat-free hot dogs and fruit for myself for Thursday night for dinner. And then Friday is my treat day or my cheat day. So I don't know what we'll have for dinner, maybe burgers or something fun like that. So that is my meal plan for this upcoming week. On the back side is where I will plan what I'm prepping for breakfast, lunch, dessert, and any other good stuff that I need to meal prep on Sunday. So for breakfast this next week, I'm going to be making mini waffle breakfast sandwiches. So stay tuned for that. I have an adorable mini waffle maker and we're gonna be making a delicious low point breakfast sandwich. I will be pairing that with some fruit. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be marinating some chicken and I'm gonna be making a dill potato salad. That sounds so good, so refreshing on a summer day. So that is what is on the menu for lunches. And then for a sweet treat, we are gonna be making mojito cake. Now I'm gonna be making these in little individual servings only because it helps with points, it helps with portion control, but wait until you see this recipe, so good. And then I'm gonna be filming a smoothie collab, so you guys will be seeing that on the 13th of June. So that is what is on the plan for meal prep. So again, that is my menu plan for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. Make sure you click the link below Enter my discount code that is here on the screen, save 10% and pick yourself up a meal planner because it makes staying on track so much easier. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. You got to see what I got at Walmart and at Fred Meyer and Kroger. So I am stocked up and ready to go for the week. Also my meal plan, which I'm really excited about these recipes. I cannot wait to share all of them with you. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what recipe are you most excited to see. I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye guys.